Hi guys, welcome to Nokri Learning. This is another video for iOS Talomat. Before going into the video, let me give a short introduction about me. Myself Ramnathan, mobile developer. I have four year experience in software industries, and then I have published three to four apps in app stores and play stores. I know iOS, React, and user experience design. Let's go inside the video. In this video, we are going to see iOS development learning roadmap. In this, we are going to see step by step topic we need to learn to become iOS developer. These are the topic we must need to learn. And then my personal recommendation topics and some additional topics you need to learn and some useful links. Click the description to see those useful links. Let's go inside the roadmap. The first step you need to do is learn basics. First, download the ID which is Xcode and try to learn language from the Objective C basics because Shift is the overcome of the Objective C. So, whatever the issue faces in Objective C, app will, will have uh, overcome this in Shift. So, you have to learn first Objective C and then go for Shift. Just till you have to learn the basics and go for shift for the resources apple provided some documentation which is a perfect resource to learn the shift and objective c this is the objective c just learn try to learn these types of how to data types flow control flow try to learn that just basic and then for shift you need to learn all these because these all will help to do better programs okay the second thing you need to do is learn common topics which is app architect app lifecycle the app architect means the layer in the ios which is core os and then core service and media layer and then coco touch i'm not going deep into that just i give an example so you need to learn about these topics and then some important design pattern which is mvg mvvm and then Mobile human interface kindness, which is, which is this, yeah, in developer, Apple developer, the mob, human interface design kindness, which will gives you the help and overview of how to design the UA, which will definitely help you. Try to just learn and go through the topics, just go through the topics. So it will be definitely helpful for the UA things. The third topic is you need to practicing the UI and learn the UI things. There is a two way of developing app in Apple. One is by using storyboard and another is using shift UI. The UI kit is old which is developed in 2008 released in. But shift UI is released recently 2019 so that most of the company who are started uh, from the app from the scratch they are starting with shift UI only. Because in shift UI only, all the new features have came and by using this only, we can develop widgets also. So that try to learn the basic of UI kit and try to learn all in shift UI. For that also, there is a resource for in iOS also, they provide some tutorial. Try to learn this. I have provided this in description and also try to learn the topics in this. And then practicing some from the scratch text and images table and list layout grid how to use grid try to do these kinds of ui and then the fourth is getting deeper to the languages reading and using apple documentation don't go and search for anything in stack overflow just to go and search for apple documentation in apple documentation they're giving a perfect way and a clear explanation for everything just to go to the developer and search the things which you have uh, issues just go for that anything and uh, go inside that you can learn the topics all and then try to learn how to error handling and debugging in xcode in xcode by using breakpoint we can debugging very e easily so try to do in xcode and then try to convert all the code which is logic and ui to mvvm or mvvc okay which will refract and which will give an architectural view of your code and it will be very useful for any any corrections and doing any adding any modification 
which will be loosely coupled by using this means it will be loose, loosely coupled we can do anything the next topic we are going to see is advanced why i am mentioning advanced means by using this we can increase the performance of our app the dispatch queue which is related to prioritizing our work in app memory management is irc automatic reference counting by using this we can manually manage the memory in our io app concurrent programming are running multiple tasks parallelly by using grand central dispatch and making our data as well structured and with good algorithm which make our app performance high and in ios we have separate system frameworks which is we will the next step for networking we have a different separate function for like url sessions data task that upload task download task like that we have so we have to learn that and for storing data we have a persistent container in our app the core data by using this we can make large data to save in our app which is made by apple so it will be very fast and for small data we can use user defaults and for saving any private data we can use keychain saving anything in a file manager like things you need to learn and the next step you are going to learn is how to configure your projects workspace and what are the package manager we can use go into the xcode and go to the projects and try to develop different target like dev environment staging environment like that create environments and uh, package manager which is used to because lot of package managers are available outside which will have all the functionality we don't need to create a from the scratch so try to integrate with that package manager shift shift package manager which is developed by apple cocoa pods which is a third party most of the thing uh, most of the package are not supported in shift package package manager so in cocoa pods all things are supported so try to do in cocoa pods and also shift package manager try to install some package and try to use any future the next the code quality which is the very main for our in xcode we have a tool like instrument by using this we can also manage our where is the leaking happening in our classes memory leaking because if we are creating some data but once go to another pages we, we are not clearing the data means which will be leak so we need to find the leak and we have to clear the leak so in xcode there will be to try to learn how to do that and then unit test which will be very good if you write any logic means you need to learn unit test in xc test in ios there is a xc test it will be very easy and it will be very it will make our code very clear and try to coverage the report try to cover 80% of each code how to cover things the next step step is integration try to integrate with the firebase and try to do push notifications very simple in ios just there will be a apple service service you have to push the token only you have to get the token and then by using this token you have to send the message that will take apple will take care of that to to um, show the, the push notification in our app and then in app purchase manage purchase try to do in app which is very this it will not have any cost you can also practicing how to do in app purchase and deep linking between the app between the two app like just deep linking between in whatsapp they are linking the youtube like youtube like that so you try to deep link that and then go for apple developer program which will cost someone 1000 per year by using this only we can able to publish the app okay for per year you need to pay 7000 by using this only we can develop and download the certificate and we can able to publish the app in apps app store so try to uh, try with it because this is an investment trend you have to 
by and publish any app which will which will differentiate you and another candidate if you publish any app means it will be a plus point for you for clearing the interview so this is a one time investment so you have to uh, do the how to what is the developer program try to learn how to use and then apple app store review guide so you need to learn this apple app store guide because they have follow so many rules if if your app doesn't follow these rules means they will reject your app okay so try to learn the review guidance and then upload the try to give the all the data and and then upload the app try to upload the app in test flight and then you can release the app in app store this is not the end because apple will never end they they have giving every year new features year by year with bunch of future so continue learning which will make you very clear about the ios development you have to update your skills for ios okay let's go for the my personal recommendation my personal recommendation you need to learn objective c as a intermediate which will be very useful and will be give a core thinking of our ios development and then design pattern single turn observer and delegates single turn in ios many a library or use single turn like app delegate url session file manager so it will be very useful for data storage you have to learn which is realm and sqlite which is third party which is very faster than core data and testing as i mentioned earlier which is xe test that is for unit test xe ui test which is give a automation end to end testing in our app which will give a give and increase our performance of the app and concurrent programming i earlier mentioned grand central dispatch the operation queue which will which will used to configure our thread which will be very give deeper deeper access of the thread and then data structure and algorithm you need to learn more data structure algorithm and use the correct data structure for every program and then some additional topics reactive programming which is will be booming faster or a shift and then advanced design pattern viper which is also booming and data storage like how to store the data in i cloud and firebase and try to learn the package manager like carthage as i earlier mentioned shift package manager carthage is also is a third party another manager like copods which will give a, which will have a many features and for building and deployment not by using test flight we also use fast line to push the app in test flight so try to learn this also and then the useful links for for reading shift objective c ua shift ui ua kit and shift ui tutorials human interface these are the most uh, useful links you can go and visit and learn and if you need any help means you can go into kodako uh, before that their name is revich now they have changed to kodako and hacking with the shift my personal recommended udemy course is this most of the ios developer have went through this and some some courses also youtube by hacking with shift like 100 days course you can also go and follow follow them which will be very useful for ios development that's all friends if you like the video means click the like button and if you have any doubts if you need any clarification means provide that in comment i will reply definitely reply thanks guys let's catch up in the next video and don't forget to follow now